Concussions are a serious topic in every contact sport. Historical European martial arts are no exception. My name is Martin and in this video I will share with you some important tips that can literally save your neck. Let's start with the things we can control directly. First up is posture. While it's common advice in most martial arts to tuck your chin, quite a few Himais are ignoring that, myself included for a long time. Getting hit like that by a thrust in the mask transfers almost all of its energy directly into the head and the neck. Sometimes it might be the bib of the fencing mask pushing the chin up. Sometimes it's even advocated as a somewhat arrogant posture and fitting the mindset of the manuscript. These days I mostly double in the Bolognese sauces of the 16th century Italy. And I have to say, at least the artwork suggests that it's just a straight posture, mostly with the chin tucked in. And while the masters of old probably didn't care about any concussion as they get impaled through the head, tucking the chin creates more distance between you and the enemy. And for me that's a win-win and something to train. Next up are neck exercises. Like I said at the beginning, other sports are dealing with the risk of concussions and long-term brain damage as well. Neck strength is a scientifically proven factor to reduce the risk of getting both. So here are some simple exercises to work on a better posture and strengthening your neck. Okay, just a quick heads up. Pay attention to your body and don't push yourself too hard. I'm a fitness coach, not a doctor. If you experience any pain, stop the exercise. Okay, let's begin. Lie down onto your back. Stretch your head. Make yourself as large as possible. Tuck your chin and raise your head until you reach your chest. Proceed slowly and keep your chin tucked. Okay, do all these exercises for around 15 times. If it's too easy, add a bit of weight. You can use your hands, a towel to hold you back, or even some just ordinary light weights. Okay, then switch your arm. Again, tuck your chin. And now, raise your head against gravity. This should feel a bit easier. So feel free to add some weight. Okay, and do this 15 times again. Then onto your side and just raise your head again in this direction. Again for 15 times, add weight as you need it. Uh, last up, a turning motion. So just leave your head here straight. Turn left and right. And if you want to introduce some weight here, you probably have to attach it to the front of your head. So using the lever. Or you could just slightly push with your hand downward. Okay, 15 times again and then switch on the other side and that's it. Of course, there are more things that you can do. Using a sword that is neither too stiff nor too heavy at the tip should be a given. New fencing masks with better padding are getting released. But most importantly, take care of your training partners. Most of our fencing is done in our own gym. Control your attacks and don't hack each other to pieces on a regular basis. You might not be able to choose your opponent in a tournament fight so it gets even more important at your own club. Let me know in the comments if you like this kind of video. Tell me what you would like to see next and share this video with a friend you care about. Until next time, take care and train safe.